Do 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 Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Welcome to the Johnny Mike Gizmo Spook Cast, everyone. Episode 174. Let me say it again for the people in the back. One hundred and seventy-four. I don't want to yell too loud, cause me neighbors will hear. You see, when you got neighbors in the close proximity, you are we gonna keep the spooky music going, or are we gonna fucking shut her down? Okay, that's enough. Please, I've had enough. Come on, brother. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card. But it's not tradition to show you. It's on the card, but you find out anyway because we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Let's talk about it. I want cranberry muffins, not blueberry. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. This is my pumpkin. His name is Marco. He's black. And he's pink on the inside. Do you know a black guy who's pink on the inside? I bet you don't. Janice, do you? Didn't think so. Here's the Del Russo, folks. Let me scroop your nuples a little bit. Let's just bring the stream deck right up to my face. Oopa loopa body ass bitch! And it's frozen. It's been. Thank you. I will say once again, I am barbecued. I always tell myself, have a little smaller hoot before you go do the podcast because it's going to confuse you. You're going to get confused and you're going to stumble your words. But do I ever listen? No. Because I'm like, I just want to get it done. And I don't mean the podcast, I mean the hoot. You know? I hear children screaming in the backyard. Hello, children! <laughs> want some candy? It's Halloween! They stopped talking, maybe they heard that. What was I saying? Something about getting barbecued? Let's get some barbecue. 
Janice, I'll take some barbecue, please. Some barbecue chicken. Give me some barbecue chicken, please, Janice. Well, we got some stuff to talk about. All right, we got some stuff. I got to start off a little stronger today, says my agent. I don't have an agent, but I do have a brain. And my brain says, hey, let's watch the previous episode to see how it went. And I go, okay. And I watch it, and I'm like, oof. This guy's boring as fuck. I got to step it up a notch. All right? That's what my nig nog tells me. Maybe I shouldn't say that anymore. My noggin. I'll just say noggin instead of the other thing I just said. It's not... Oh, she's frozen. <coughs> Don't you just love a frozen <coughs> stream deck? Am I the only one who has issues with my stream deck freezing? Maybe I got to update it again. I think I do, actually. This is Spooktober. Every Monday, the Dynamite Jizzard p Piss Cast is going to shit out another garbage-filled delight. Eh. That's what a mummy sounds like. Eh. They uncovered... Eh. Um. See, I, I have this. I have, I've noticed I have this issue where I get caught up in my words and I just start telling unnecessary parts of a story just so I can get my entire point across. Because I really want the audience to feel engaged. Because there's, you know, there's nothing worse than watching a podcast and you have no idea what the fuck's going on because they're not given enough context. This whole planet. This whole society nowadays doesn't like context. We don't like context anymore. Oh, look, that one's down even there. <laughs> but you don't want to get too random, you know? Yeah, you got to step it up a bit, but you don't want to get too random. You guys got any <laughs> bags of bird ham in here? My poop, my poop looks like angel hair pasta. My poop looks like angel hair pasta. My poop looks like angel hair pasta. I want to try something. Da, 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 da. Hey, 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 this is good. See my pussy. He want to take him a licky. Got your nigga in love. He said, I love fuck like my rookie. If I get him a cookie, he got to pay just to book me. Can't have this shady. If I take it all, I'm a make. Okay. This whole episode just can't be me pressing the fucking street deck, dude. <laughs> Stream Deck's done. Alright. If I was smart enough, I would have cut that out. I'm just going to write down, cut out the Stream Deck bullshit. <laughs> I've never, never ever have I had this big of a problem with this goddamn Stream Deck, but I'm done with it because I just wasted like nine minutes around with it and it just keeps freezing and I see there's an update but I don't want to update while I'm recording everything because it's probably gonna crash my whole computer and we don't want that do we no no we don't want that you know why all this bad luck's happening it's because it's October it's the fucking dark season all right I like October I like fall I like I like the whole theme, the depressing theme of Halloween. Did you hear that? That's what I like. That's what I enjoy. Don't like Christmas. Don't like Easter. Don't like any of that other bullshit. Valentine's Day especially. Halloween? Give me that. Every goddamn day. I'll take it. And I'll enjoy it. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Do you want to hear a story? Let's start with a story. I like to go for walks with my pooper dog. He's a little he's a little dog and he smells like shit. No, he doesn't. He stinks a little bit. His breath really stinks and now his breath smells like shit. If you smell his breath, you will either pass out, puke or die. It's just one or the one of the, the three. Um I've gotten to the point now where I can I just pass out. I used to puke every time I smell his breath, but now I just pass out, so. Some might say that's worse, but... 
At least you don't have to clean up puke. You know? Sometimes I just smell his breath just to fall asleep. Because I can't get to sleep, so I'm like, come here, Ubel. And then I'm like, open your mouth. And he opens it, and then I go, and then I go, woo, and then I'm out like a light. I just don't wake back up till the morning, till my alarm goes off. Works like a charm. If your dog has bad breath, you should try it. Or if your grandpa has bad breath, or your uncle, or whoever. Whoever's got bad breath in your near vicinity, your roommate, your parrot, your parakeet, your pet parrot parakeet, or your iguana, iguana, or you even your downstairs neighbor. You got a downstairs neighbor, shove a hose down the vent, the heat vent, okay? Fish it into his room. Put a put maybe put a mask on it, one of those oxygen masks attached to the end of the hose. And then you go down to your neighbors and you say, Hey, I know your breath stinks, so can you breathe into this so I can sniff it and pass out? And he'll be like, yeah, bro, five bucks. And he'll be like, two. And he'll be like, three. And then you're like, okay, here's three bucks. Same idea, different shit pile. Again, here I go blathering on about nothing. Why? Because I'm barbecued. Why? Because it's October, and October is bad luck. It's bad luck for me. It's putting me in the drain. It's flushing me down the toilet. I was, and I know what you're thinking. You're like, he forgot about the story. No, I. It was on. It was on my mind the whole time. Okay. I just took off on a tangent for a second, just to derail the conversation a little bit. And don't worry, people. If you're worried about this episode being stupid and and garbage, well, guess what? It is. All right. But we got stuff in store. I like to. I like to just, you know, I don't want to jump right into the action right off the bat, which I might have to. If I watch this episode and I'm like, that was stupid as well, then from now on I'm going to jump right into the fucking meat sauce right off the bat, if that's what people want. But right now I don't like jumping into the meat sauce. And you know what? It's not always about what you want, okay? I'm just creating what I want. But hey. I'm willing to jump into the meat sauce if I have to. Why don't we take a little t- look at the stream deck? Because I just want to find the folder that I'm looking for. But I can't seem to find it. And it's frozen, so I'll say fuck it. Um, back to the story. I like to go for walks. I like to go for walks when I'm a little... Just a tiny bit. Oh, look, it crashed. The whole thing crashed. It's fucking beautiful. The whole stream deck crashed. I like to take wiggity walks while... There it is. There it is. Oh, my God. (laughs) You guys got any... (laughs) That's all I wanted to do. (laughs) Yeah. That's the stuff, right? Is that not the stuff? And it's frozen, so you can only have a little. You can have a little spurt of fun, and then you got to put it away, just a little bit. So I like to take walks. <laughs> Could you imagine if I was a stand-up comedian, and I'm on stage? I'd be pissing everyone off. They'd be like, "Get to the fucking story, bro. I want to hear what happened at the walk." You went for a walk, and then what? You fell? You fell into a pile of trash? And you grabbed a flyer for the... 
to go to go do some comedy and you're like, I'm going to do this. And then you tell this stupid story. Is that what happened? No. Let me tell you. Okay. Don't try to fucking don't try to tell my story the way you think it's going to go. All right. My story goes a certain way. And we're, and this is how it goes. All right. Lots of derailments. Okay. I'm all over the fucking road. I'm smashing into the guardrail. I'm smashing through grandma's fence, mailboxes, driving off cliffs. That's the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. Sp- or Spookcast, I mean, because it's October. Huh? Huh? All right? This is what you signed up for. You subscribed. And you're like, I haven't subscribed. I don't even... I'm just checking you out. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm going to mentally control you. I'm going to mentally manipulate you so that you click subscribe by the end of the video. If you wait, if you stick around this entire episode, all right, you watch. At the very end, you will be subscribed if you weren't subscribed already. And you're going to be like, wait a minute, what the... All right? I know what you're saying. And you know what you're thinking. You're like, that's not that's not going to happen. Well, it is. Just And if you don't believe me, then you just watch the rest of this without skipping or pausing or anything. If you skip or pause or do anything okay you can adjust the volume that's about it and if you just stick around wait you will be subscribed if you aren't already you'll also click that like button you'll also have left a comment what will the comment say everyone's a little different you don't believe me then stick around you'll find out let's get back to this story here so I like to go for walks, all right? I like to go for walks with Ubel the dog. We already covered this, but I'm covering it again because this is what you signed up for, all right? Walk with the dog, and I like to get a little spicy, and by spicy, I mean a little barbecued, and by barbecued, I mean I like to just have a tiny little dose of the flower that puts you in the sky with, with Mario. You know, when he's got those wing caps on, right? You know the flower that you smoke? Right? You know what I'm talking about. Just a little bit. Just a hint. Just a dash. To get those molecules of flowing. All right? And then, yeah. So I was, <laughs> And then you walk. Then you go for a walk early in the morning, as early as you can get up. You feel that fresh, cold air. Ooh, smells good, doesn't it? Got your earbuds in, listening to a, another podcast. Ooh, sounds great. All right, so I did that the other day. I do it a lot now. I've been doing it every day for at least two weeks now. What? Why? I don't know. There's something wrong with me. I decided to go for walks every morning. I've never done that, and I never thought I ever would, but I am. So I'm walking with the dog, listening to podcast, a little bit barbecued. All right. I see this old lady. Again, another old lady story. I've told old lady stories here before, and I'm telling them one again. All right. Because I walk past an old folks home and this whole town's full of old folks, whether they're in the home or not. They're around. All right. So. I got my earbuds in. I can't hear shit. People always try to talk to me when they pass me on the sidewalk, but I don't give a goddamn. I'm not responding to you. All right? I can't hear you, and I know you're old, and you don't realize there's such thing as Bluetooth earbuds, and my hat is covering my ears because it's a beanie, so you don't realize I'm listening to anything, so you try to spike up a conversation every time. Old people love to talk with strangers when they pass on the sidewalk, especially in this small town. All right, so old people are trying to talk to me all the time, and I'm just like, hey, I'm ignoring them. And you know what? You might be like, be saying, that's a little rude. Well, maybe, but they're old as fuck, so they're not even going to remember it anyway. So what does it matter? I see this old lady, all right? She's getting out of her car, and she's heading into her old folks' home, the one that I walk past every day, Okay? And, like, I'm probably, like, maybe 20 feet away from her. The parking lot's right there. I'm right here walking past her. Okay? She's getting out of her car, and she's looking at me like she wants to comment on the dog. Because that's what they do, you know? 
but I'm just looking straight ahead and I'm kind of glancing over every few seconds just to get a little something something out of my peripheral and I see her staring at me I'm like stop staring at me in my head I say that and uh you know I have I haven't fully passed by her yet I'm still like approaching her but she's like you know up in my peripheral vision when I look to the left a bit and she's coming down the driveway she's coming down the driveway as I'm like what this is me this is her she's coming down the driveway to go around her car and go into the old folks home and so I'm like okay just ignore her (laughs) all right and then, you know, as she's coming down this little incline, I see her start to, like, lose her balance a little bit. And she kinda, she's kind of, like, grabbing onto the car. And now, as I said, I'm a little bit spiced. I'm a little bit bar All right? So in my head, I'm thinking, oh, fuck. This old lady better not fall. She better not fall on the ground. I can't. I can't. I'm not in the right mindset. To help this lady out. Alright, that's terrible to say, but I mean... (laughs) You know, it would just freak me the fuck out. Being a little barbecued and seeing this old lady fall on the ground and having to, like, you know, go down there and call 911 and be like, are you okay? That would just freak me out. So I'm like, this is going to happen. Is this going to happen? So I start speeding up. I'm like, I got to get out of here before she falls. I can't see her fall. Cause she'll know I saw her, and then I'll then I'll definitely be an asshole. I can't just watch her fall and keep going, you know. So I gotta get out of her vision. So I start speeding up, <laughs> you know. And she's still stumbling, and I'm like, "Fuck, gotta get out of here." <laughs> this old lady better not fucking fall in front of me. And I keep going. I keep going down the sidewalk, and like as I get, you know, she's like completely parallel to me. Or perpendicular. Whatever. I don't know. What, what is it? She's right next to me at this point. And I think she said hello or something. But I did not pay attention. I just looked straight ahead and I kept going. And uh, she ended up falling. Uh, but I was past her vision at this point. She fell on the ground. All right. I hear a slight faint, maybe a scream. I couldn't quite tell. My podcast was super loud, and I had turned it up in the process of speed and faster. All right? So she fell. All right? She might have broken something. Don't know. Have no idea. I just kept walking. Okay, that last part was a lie. She didn't actually fall. I just had to end on a intense note. She didn't fall. The whole leading up to the story was true, but she did not fall. She caught her balance, and she got around the car, and she went into the old folks' home, okay? But if I would have said that, you would have been like, that's boring. There was so much buildup. Why did I tell the story even then? I don't know, because I... Because at the time when I was walking with my dog... After that all happened, like immediately after that all happened, I pulled out my phone and I wrote a note in my podcast note section that said, talk about this old lady that damn near fell. (laughs) And at the time, I was like processing it in my head, being like, this is going to be a great story to talk about. Turns out it wasn't. Not even in a little bit. You guys got (laughs) any bags of bird ham in here? (laughs) Tried to click it a hundred times. We ran out of bird ham. It's frozen, so. Cannot wait to update my stream deck. Because I want to use it so badly. But it's being a bitch. It's been. It's been. I, you know why I think it's being a bitch? Because I recent. Oh, that's why. I think I figured it out. Yeah. No, maybe I didn't figure it out. Don't talk technical right now. Mister, this is no place to throw your techno nonsense around. Okay, let's let's get into some good stuff now. Why don't we? We've had enough. Oh, I just gotta make a quick. I gotta make a quick note here, peeps. I gotta make a quick note. <laughs> uh, what do? What's the word? 
what's the word what's the word oh yeah credit fraud no that's not credit 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 video don't say it out loud sorry for not talking i'm trying I'm trying to talk and write at the same time, but I can't, but I can't. <sighs> Tell me something, people. Why is Dogface so popular? Don't play that, please. We're gonna get a copyright strike. So you can just finish the rest of that song in your head right now. Or uh, you probably I probably cut it out so it's dog face people. You've seen him. You've seen him. He's everywhere. And I I I don't understand it. What's why? I mean it's a great video. It's a great tick tick. I like it. They did a great job. I no, they. He did a great job. Well, he, he did an okay job. It's not even that great. It's him on a longboard with cranberry juice. Um, you know, and he's just like vibing to Fleetwood Mac. And yeah, that that encapsulates a really good feeling. And people can relate to that. But why did it get so goddamn popular? That's what I want to know. Look at all these people who did it. Greatest. Look at all these people. This is up everyone. Everyone's doing it. Every single person on the goddamn planet. If we just run our mouse right through here, and this guy's got the oh Ghostbusters, and look, it's everyone. It's everyone. It's just. Where's the pumpkin man? There's a pumpkin guy. It's Halloween season. Show me the pumpkin. There's the pumpkin. There's the pumpkin. <sighs> Man, this is a great episode, isn't it? The Kasim show is coming back. Kasim G is bringing back... I don't know if it's his original podcast or if he's making a brand new podcast. But if you know me, you know I love Kasim G. And I loved... His fucking podcast that he had. The Kasim Show. Is that what it was called? I don't remember. But it was so good, dude. If he would have stuck with that, that would be... It's like he was changing the game of the idea of what a podcast can be. He was... He was... He was evolving podcasts early on. When no one was thinking about evolving them because they just wanted to do them. Everything evolves and that's the only way things get better in the future. They have to evolve. And podcasts are still kind of just the way they always were. Which is fine. I love it. I love it that way. But, you know, eventually someone's going to step in and, and evolve it. Twist it up. Shake it up a little bit. And Kasim was doing that way early on. And he gave up on it. And I hate that he gave up on it because it was so good. And I've talked about it on this podcast before. I've showed you clips. I'm sure. Wow. Wow. We got some Halloween themed stuff to do. Today we're going to... We're going to scroll the Happy Halloween subreddit. The Halloween subreddit. We're going to read a, a creepy pasta, A really creepy pasta. And then we're going to flip a coin to find out what am I the asshole we're going to read. Okay? And I also have some TikToks we can slather ourselves in. So, yeah. We're just getting started, folks. If you're if you're in it for the long haul, then fucking buckle up, baby. Because we're about to go down the mountain. Alright? That shit, everything up until right now... Just kidding, I don't do that. Everything up until right now was just a sweet little appetizer. 
like a little spring roll dipped in that orange sauce that comes in the packet. I don't know. In the wings packet. You know what I'm talking about. What is it? Plum sauce or something? Tastes good. Tastes good on a spring roll. Oh, I could really go for a spring roll right now. Oh, Janice. Janice. Hey, Janice. Can you, can you give me a spring roll, please? I just want a spring roll. <laughs> oh, God. What should we do first, huh? Should we do a creepy pasta? A pasta? But. Uh... <laughs> All right. Let's set the mood here. Is that... Should we do that? You like that music? Is it too loud? Is it too loud? I'll turn it down a little bit for you. I'll turn it down a little bit for you. Hey, 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 Ushi Gushi, my pussy, he wanna take him a looky. Got your nigga in love, he said, I don't fuck like no rookie. If I get him a cookie, he gotta pay just to book me. Got that bitch shady, if I take it out, I'm a fucking bully. He tell me, stay the night, shit, I might. If that nigga spin a check, then I'ma ride it like a bike. When that nigga give me neck, and then I tell him, take a hike. If it's special, then I'll sing it to that bitch just like a mic. It's a hike, it's good. Like it's moving slowly because your brain is fast. Your brain is so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not reading all that. Ah. Okay. So, folks, we got some more stuff to cut out of this episode. <laughs> So if you're wondering why it just jump cut again, well, that's because I uh, got to cut out that creepy pasta. I didn't realize how fucking long it was. All right, and I was sitting there for what felt like 20 minutes reading a bullshit story that wasn't even that creepy. Does it say how long it takes to read this bullshit? I don't think so. So, and then cut out. My pen's not working. Cut out pasta. Put a little star beside that because we really need to do that because that's not staying in either. <laughs> wow. Two things to cut out in one episode. That has never happened to me before. Ever, ever, for never, ever. Um, if you want to read this creepypasta, go to creepypasta.com and search if you're armed and at the Glenmont Metro, please shoot me. Great story. Let's scroll through Reddit for a quick hot second. I hate it when people say hot minute. Okay? I just want to clarify that. I don't like it when people say, I haven't done that in a hot minute. Or if they just say, haven't seen you in a minute. When did that start happening? It seems like no one has ever done that before. It just came out of nowhere, and now everyone's doing it. Hot minute. Fuck you, dude. What the fuck's a hot minute? Just say I haven't seen you in forever. You know? A hot minute. What, like 60 seconds? Because you got a low-ass attention span? You can't even go a minute without seeing me? Man, I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah. I haven't seen you in, like, eight, 800 minutes. Get out of here. I don't need to see you every minute, bro. Okay? <sighs> Look at this art. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Oh, by Bird Celestial. Posted by Bird Celestial. Make sure you credit the people, folks. Credit, 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 where credit's due. Wow, Halloween quilt. Wow, stripper. Wow. Oh my god, remember when we used to scroll Reddit? Remember when that was part of the Dynamite Gizmo shit cast when I would just scroll Reddit at the end of every episode? Do you remember? Let's see this full image. Oh wow, this is boring. Why are we why are we doing this? I need to prepare better for next episode. Although next episode might even be uploaded late because I got so much shit to do next week. 
And I'm hungry right now. Okay, we're going to do an Am I the Asshole. Okay, if we're going to read something on this podcast, we read Am I the Asshole for telling my sister my nephew's hearing loss is her fault. Ooh, spicy. Am I the Asshole for refusing to fulfill a promise I made to an autistic person? Ooh. Hmm. Parents wanted to install parental locks on a new laptop. I said no. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Spooky. Am I the asshole for yelling at my sister about her pronoun problem? Uh oh. Okay, never mind. It was just a stream deck that crashed. I thought the whole system collapsed. Am I the asshole for yelling at my sister about her pronoun problem and overreacting? Hmm. There's so many good ones, too. Am I the asshole for not wanting to help my classmate after she outed my husband? What? Would I be the asshole for not going to my brother's wedding? Am I the asshole for leaving my business to my son who has helped it grow? Am I the asshole for leaving home after my husband said I was embarrassing him when I was crying? Am I the asshole for not allowing my sister to attend dad's funeral? Ooh. Am I the asshole for moving out of my parents' place without telling them beforehand? Am I the asshole for giving my personal view on IVF treatment when I was asked? Okay, let's just pick one. Flip a coin! Bling. I tried to go buy a, a die today, but I couldn't find one. So. Mm, let's do the autistic person. Am I the asshole for refusing to fulfill, f fulfill a promise I made to an autistic person? Let's find out! We like autism. I think I am autistic. I am a 16 female, and I have a neighbor, Ben, who is 16 male. He is an autistic person. He is high-functioning, but sometimes prone to severe meltdowns. Our mothers are friends, so we hang around a lot. We hang around a lot. We are friends and hang out a lot together, but I don't consider him close to me. It's because it's a pretty one-sided friendship. If you asked him a single question about me, he wouldn't be able to answer. But he is fun to play video games with. A few weeks ago, when he was over, he said that there was a girl he liked. Sarah. Ooh, fucking name drop. He said that he wanted to plan something incredible to ask her out. He was telling me some ideas and I was giving my opinions. Suddenly, he said that he wanted my necklace to give to her. The necklace isn't something special or with a great memory it's silver and has a dolphin pendant which i got on a vacation but i have been wearing it for a long time s s i scoffed and said yeah right he started telling other ideas and didn't mention that one again the problem is that he sometimes he's he is sometimes very bad at social cues and sarcasm he genuinely thought that i had agreed to it and since he never mentioned it again, I didn't realize it too. A few days later, he came to my house and asked for the necklace. And I refused, trying to explain that I was just being sarcastic. He ended up having a great meltdown right in my living room, and I still refused. This, is, this became a big issue, and everyone thinks that I should give him the necklace as I technically agreed. Well, I mean, my mom forced me to give the necklace to him. And ever since then, I have completely stopped talking to him and locked myself in my room whenever they come over. Yesterday, some of my friends were already over when they came over, and I refused to let him into my room. In the past, I have always made an effort to include him, but this time I didn't bother. My mom and his mom are again angry at me because I am his only friend, and they feel I am hurting him and that I am jeopardizing his mental health. Now I want to know whether I was the asshole regarding the necklace debacle or not. 
Okay, so here's the problem with, with these. With all of these. They're one-sided. We only get one side of the story. So yeah, from her perspective, you're not the asshole. They're never the asshole. That's what I'm noticing. They're never the asshole. Because it's their side of the story. I want to hear autistic Ben's side. She name-dropped everything. She name-dropped Ben. She said he was autistic and he's 16 years old. And then she said he liked a girl named Sarah. If Ben's scrolling on Reddit and he reads the story, he's going to be like, oh my god. She's talking about me on Reddit. You know? So yeah, from her side of the story, I would say no, you're not the ace hole. But what are people saying in the comments? You bring up some good points. I will ask my mother about some of the things you mentioned. He is in ba 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 ba. I don't want to read any of that. What do you think? Do you think she's the asshole? Yeah, right. Like how did but how did she say yeah, right? Like did she go, "Yeah, right." Or did she go like, "Yeah, right." Or, "Yeah, right." You know? I don't know how she said it. Maybe he is good at picking up social cues. And you said it wrong. Am I the asshole? I don't know. It's either I don't know or n or no. That's what these are. All the time. Every time. So this, I don't know how short this episode's going to be. Because, you know, having to cut out all those chunky bits. I do have some tick ticks to show. Do you want to see some tick ticks? I really wanted to read a creepy pasta, but that was so long. That was so long. You know, I'm just having one of those days where I don't really feel like podcasting. I should have I should have I should have prepared better for this episode. Next episode will be better. <laughs> I say that every time. I say that shit every time. Okay. Let's start with a little Joel. You remember Joel in the garage? You know Joel. You know Joel. Actually, you know what? Let's prepare a little better here. We're going to open all these bad boys up and get them lined up like a Barcelona. I'm going to line all these up, and I'm going to show you the lineup. And you're going to be like, wow, what are all these? They're crazy. There's so many. Okay? So here's what's in store for the TikToks. Have a look. All right? Which one do you want to start with? I know which one we're going to start with. Joel in the garage. You remember Joel, right? Everyone, it's me, Joe in the garage. Right. I snuck up to the kitchen. I'm yep. having some Mexican food, enchiladas. Cool. Nice. It's so quiet up here. Don't even know I'm here. I'm going to eat and sneak back down to the garage. <laughs> so slowly but surely, Joel is revealing more and more about his situation. Uh, I have a f suspicious feeling that this guy lives in the garage and... The, the owners of the house, of the garage, don't know this guy. Or maybe they do know this guy, but they have no idea that he's living in their garage. And he's just sneaking back and forth, stealing food and enchiladas and saying weird shit on TikTok. And one of these days he's going to get caught, he's going to go to jail, and then he's going to end up on the news. And I would have predicted the whole thing. So keep your eye out for Joel in the garage. He's going to jail. Next up, Goat City. Louder. 
<laughs> it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. If you didn't know already, I once did. I did episode 100 of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast in a goat sanctuary. <laughs> a goat aquarium. <laughs> you ever been to a goat aquarium? Goats everywhere, dude. Underwater. Underwater goats. They go blub blub. Rub a dub dub. I got goats in my tub. Okay, so you pick which one we'll do next. We got three left. Do you want the jerky shaft? Do you want 510 Jamie? Or do you want vergetarian? Vergetarian. Pick. Okay, I'll pick for you. We're going to do sleep on the top bunk. 510 Jamie, people. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, my. Uh, oh, my God. Didn't that look painful? One more time. Listen to how hard he smacks. Ow! Uh, that would hurt. Uh, you think he broke something? Uh, what do you think happened to this guy? Do you think he's just in pain? Or did he break something? Have you ever fallen off the top bunk? Because I haven't. I had bunk beds. But I had a railing, so I couldn't fall off. But I, I did climb up the ladder once and slipped off the ladder and landed on my big toe. Like, you know, it curled under and I landed on it and totally fucked that bad boy up. Purple as the day is long. <laughs> All right, so we got two videos left. You want Vergitarian or the Jerky Shaft? We're going to do the Vergitarian. All right, I know the order they need to go in. I don't need to listen to you, so just shut your mouth and listen. Suck my fucking dick, suck my fucking dick, suck my fucking dick. Suck my dick and eat my ass and suck it, lick it, touch it, fuck it. Suck it, lick it, touch it, fuck it. Pop it, twist it, bend it, pull it. Rub it, ride it, choke on my fucking dick. Suck my dick. Then lick my fucking assholes Squeeze my balls Suck ever tenderly And I turn your life Yeah Yes, buddy Give me some of that audience But hang on Because my stream deck crashed Do 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 I don't have an audience cheer button. I have audience laugh. And no. Suck my dick. Twist it, rub it, lick it. Blah blah, blah blah, blah blah, blah blah, blah blah. All right, and for our final video of the day, please turn to page four on your iPads. Turn volume up to maximum degree. Okay. Sit down, grab a snack, and enjoy. 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 Bro. I think I'm about to crap myself. I got a fart so bad. God. Do you think if I, like, tried to cover it up with a cough, they wouldn't hear it? Yeah. Okay. Just 
do it. <laughs> now let me let me just say this. Pretty sure this is fake. But okay. Well played, okay? Like really good job. They did great on this. You know? Fake or not? Let's say it is fake. All right? The acting was fantastic. Really good job. I liked it. I liked it a lot. All right? It would be amazing if it was real. But even if it's not, you still get a round of applause to from from from, from me. Well, this was a another disgusting episode and you're only a few minutes away from realizing that you are now subscribed liked commented and you even hit the bell notification without any of your knowledge of it ever happening because i mentally manipulated you remember i said that you thought i was going to forget but i didn't oh no oh no I never forget my elbow. can't go that high. <laughs> Is that it? Are you telling me that's it? That 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 is it. That is it. That is that is it. That is literally it. That is everything. You just listened to a bunch of bullshit for however long. <laughs> and you're going to love it. You're going to have to take that to the bank and you're going to have to fucking swallow it. Because that's what happened. That's what this episode was. Okay? October's a disaster of a month. I love disasters. Alright? So thank you for watching this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't bother liking, commenting, or subscribing or hitting that bell notification because you already did. Thank you. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.